he was just born to climb. Yeah, there's not many other things he could have been amazing at apart from maybe being like a jockey or something. Seeing Steve climb, it's like we're just a bunch of club runners and he's like the Olympic athlete of Britain. He's in the stratosphere compared to everybody else. He's been doing it for the best part of 10 years without any sustained competition. All of his routes are obviously really impressive. They're just so far above what anyone else in Britain is doing. You can hear him start to grunt and we're thinking, it must be hard because Steve's grunting. <laughs> Steve never grunts, it's like, you know, it really must be hard. It doesn't matter what the hold's like, he will just grab it and carry on climbing, you know, because he is, obviously, his fingers are so stupidly strong. Fortunately, Steve never made it into the saddle, but his harness has taken him through all aspects of the free climbing game, from hard trad head pointing, alpine adventure, blank slate slabs, and some pretty nifty bouldering. But if you're talking about Steve McClure, then you're talking steep and crimpy limestone. His tick list now makes for some fairly unbelievable reading. 258 A's, 124 8 A pluses, 64 8 B's, 24 8 B pluses, two of which were on site, 22 8 C's, 7 8 C pluses, and six routes at the magic grade of 9 A. Now that is a lot of climbing.